everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. It's December 21st. If you have not bought a gift, this is your wake-up call. Get out there and do it. Not all my gifts are here yet. i got to find the time to get out after everyone's gone to sleep and go shopping at the few stores that are open late at night, which are mainly gas stations and, you know, payday loan play type places. So, there could be some maps of Pennsylvania in some of my family's future for Christmas. They don't wash them. Well, that's what's available at the gas stations, Rita. It's like a quart of oil, a pack of gum, a map. Those are the gifts that are available if you're shopping this late in the game. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Can you please pour us up here, Rita, tonight? You do best right. when I have more in there. I do best when there's more in the glass. That's true, because yesterday, if you didn't watch it, go watch it, because I damn well nailed it. Headshotted it. Finally. 20 days it took us to get it right. The fact that we got any of these is pretty remarkable. We've come pretty close in a couple. No, you didn't. Oh, yeah, we come very close in a couple. A couple as in two that you got. Two previous? Yeah, well, yeah, probably more than that. Probably five. We're not counting, though. Probably five. Who sent this one in, Rita? Steve. Who? Oh, um. Steve Hummer, thank you, sir, for the pour tonight. Color on this bad boy, it's kind of a little, a little nice and dark, which is what we like to see on these. Let's give it a nose. Oh, wait, gosh. We got to bring back Lucky Deer. He really helped us out yesterday. Luckily, he wasn't killed during hunting season after his poor performance a few days back. He still has both antlers. And hopefully, there's just a little bit of luck left after our tremendous guest yesterday. Let's give this one a nosey. God damn, this smells like Jack Daniels. This has to be, you know, that Milam and Green we had earlier, I thought was Jack Daniels, and I think it is, because it was from Tennessee, but this just has that banana, oaky char note. Kind of reminds me of like Jack Daniels' tenure on the nose. There's like a barrel char and oak here. This ain't no, you know, your young granddaddy's old number seven here. This is the good stuff. All right, let's give it a sip. Wow, what's going on in that sip? That is delicious. I still think it's Jack Daniels. There's, there's like a banana note there. But then so much is going on. There's like some barrel char. There's like a little bit of oak, but doesn't quite feel like a Jack Daniels 10 year. It's definitely not Jack Daniels 12 year. I wonder if there's like one of those Jack Daniels single barrels like the 94 proofers, you know, that's just like, it's a good store pick. It, it's got something extra at the end, like a little bit of like oakiness going on. I think it's finished, but I'm thinking like what Jack, like, you know, I, hopefully I'm not fooled again by that dang Jack Daniels single malt finish and Oloroso sherry. I want to lose the air pretty strongly here. Um, what is it, what is it, Lucky Deer? What's that? It's a, it's a bourbon. From Jack Daniels? Is that what it is? Is that what it is, Lucky Deer? Yeah. Oh, you think... Oh, he's saying it could be a rye. I don't think it's a twice barrel rye, though. No. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. I've got it. This, I believe, is a Jack Daniels Tennessee taster. <laughs> Or what they call distillery exclusives. Now, I think. Or whatever they call them. They used to call them Tennessee Taster. Um, they did a couple of ryes. I originally thought it was bourbon. But then, like, there is, like a, like, a rye note in here. And it got me thinking about the twice-barreled rye. I don't think it's a twice-barreled rye. They did some, like, finished ryes in those categories. So, first off, age, I think, is, like, six years. Proof's, like, 96, 97. Somewhere in there. We're going to say that. Um, price on those, I think they're like 50 or 60 for like a 375. So we're going to go with 60 doll hairs for, for a 375. We're being very specific here. I think that it is Jack Daniels. The bottle, I think, is is one of those rides. I'm not sure. And finished, yes. They, they were both finished. They had a couple. I, I don't know what they were finished in, but... I think it's like definitely like some sort of double oak rye, but it's not the twice barrel rye from this year because we, we had that early in the advent and this isn't 
This isn't quite as dark as that was. So that's why I think it's one of these Tennessee tastes. And the proof seems lower than 100. Um, well, that's everything. We've guessed it all. Rita, what were we drinking tonight? What did Steve send us? Was I dead on the money for a second day in a row? Or did I whiff completely like two days before? You were pretty close. <gasps> pretty close. Mm -hmm. Oh, lucky dear. Brandon. JD Distilleries. Jack Daniels. Ding, ding, ding. JD. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you, Rita, for the sound effects. Straight Tennessee rye finish high toast barrels. Oh, so it is a fit. Well, damn, I nailed it again. I nailed it again. God damn, we're just, it took us 20 days to get warmed up, and then it's like day 20, we win, 21, another win. I expect us to just headshot all the bottles from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not going to happen. Rita, was the proof on that, though? You know, I was looking it up, and... She had not done Googling, had to get off her tiki tocky <laughs> 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 to get to the Google page. God, thank you, Lucky Deer, for whispering it might be a ride to me. That's what turned the corner for me on the guessing here. Yeah. Ah, okay, I found it. Found it quicker than I literally just found it. Well, I just found it too. We're on the same one. Fuck same you. article. <laughs> from Breaking Bourbon. If anyone was interested, where we, where we get our <laughs> Google information hey, from. Hey, wait, this is actually great. I wish I had this 21 days ago. I bet you do, don't you? <laughs> wait, yeah. All right, so this was actually 101 proof, so I was wrong on that. Dude, you were wrong. I mean... I was close enough for the proof count, but I thought it was under 100, which is why I didn't think it was the Toys Barrel. That's funny. Um, this was a July of 2022 release. It says, it's not age data, but approximately eight years per the press release. Damn it, I said six. I said it wasn't quite as old as the Toys Barrel. So while completely nailing this, we were wrong when actually some of the sub guesses. <laughs> oh. Special edition here. We happen to have the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Raw here getting pretty low. Let's see how, how it compares. Now, obviously, proof, this one is... 133.2, so way higher, but... I said no pirating. Get a glass. No pirate? What the hell is pirating? Gosh. Ho, ho, a ball of rum. It's yo-ho. <laughs> God damn, Bill. Did you say ho-ho? <laughs> it's not a Sienna. Man, the barrel proof is phenomenal. Well, we already knew that, but... Oh, man. Jack Daniels should do a... Barrel proof toasted rye. I guess they did for 20 Oh my god, babe. <laughs> Although it wasn't barrel proof. If you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned as we bring this to a just a punishing, amazing finish. Thanks everyone. Have a good evening.